Hi, my name is Joseph Clover at Cousins Middle School. I am in Miss Harbor's fourth period class, and this is my shoebox project on Joseph Sink. In 1813, Song B. Pai, also known as Joseph Sink, was born. He became a rice farmer and trader in Sierra Leone. In 1838, something very bad happened. A man named Pedro Blanco enslaved Joseph Sink. After he was enslaved, Pedro Blanco took him to Havana, where he was then sold to two merchants named Montez and Ruiz. Him and 53 other slaves were taken on the boat, the Amistad, where, he, where Joseph Sink managed to pick the locks of his chains. After he picked the locks of his chains, he managed to pick all the other slaves' chains. They started an uprising, which killed three crew members, in, including the chef. Since none of the slaves knew how to sail a boat, they decided to force Montez to sail them back to Africa. Each night, Montez would erase all the progress made during the day by sailing towards North America. Along the way, the slaves decided to anchor the Amistad off the coast of Long Island to gather supplies. While gathering supplies, Lieutenant Gedney of the U.S. Navy spotted the boat and the slaves, decided to capture them and take them to Connecticut. Once in Connecticut, the slaves were put in jail for murder. The Spanish government wanted the slaves and the boat to return to Cuba, but President Martin Van Buren decided the slaves would be tried for murder in the United States first. Lewis Tappan and James Pennington decided to take the slaves' case and argued that it was legal in Cuba to have slaves, but was illegal to import slaves. The judge agreed that the slaves had been kidnapped and they had the right to use violent force to escape their persecutors. The United States government decided to take this case all the way to the Supreme Court. The former president of the United States, John Quincy Adams, was so moved by Joseph Sink's story, he decided to represent them in the Supreme Court. His argument was so moving that the slaves won the case. And for the first time in American history, the slaves were set free. So the slaves were set free and they had no way to go home. But thanks to Lewis Tampin, he got enough funds to send all the remaining slaves back to Africa. After Joseph Sink, or Sing B. Pai, returned home, he soon realized that his wife and three children were murdered shortly after he became enslaved. You and I don't live in a world where we have to fear about being tied up, thrown in a bottom boat, being carried across the ocean, just so we can work for them. But if we did, would you have enough courage to fight for your freedom? What does freedom mean to you? The Spanish government wanted the slaves in the boat to return to Cuba. A president, Martin Van Buren, decided. Stay <laughs> with the straight face. I know Just. Just like. And eventually, they were spotted by, the, by America. She stopped. Each night, Montez would reverse. Why do I keep wanting to say reverse? I didn't know you could put it in reverse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <I'm on> <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can be as silly as you want to be. Sorry! I'm trying, I'm trying to go back to North America when they're trying to get to Africa. Sorry!